Hi everybody, welcome once again to my Minecraft Dinosaurs Let's Play. And here we go for another episode. I got this annoying slime. Let me just jump on him. Can I? Oh, I can't jump on him. He's just hitting me. All right, so here we are. I set up this little, uh, let's see what I've been working on. I'm going to let you know. We've been. I have been setting up <laughs> this little pen here. This is going to be for sheep. I need to get sheep so that we can, I'm going to need several sheep actually for these, uh, for the mammoth, um, for the mammoth embryo, sorry. And so I'm going to need that for other mammals. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of mammals for this type of dinosaur. Um, for the few dinosaurs, the saber cats, mammoth, and what else is there? There's another one, right? I don't remember. But anyway, so what I have to do is lure them over here and at least get two of them in here so we can have them, you know, breed and, and have a bunch of sheep. That's really what I need right now. So let's see if we can get these guys in here. Let's see if we can get this guy at the same time. Come on, buddy. Come on down. Come on down. Right here. All righty. Cool. So I have them follow me, hopefully. Hopefully they'll follow me. Come on. I always lose one. Look at his eyes. It's so funny. It's like they're kind of like backwards or something. All right. Come on. All right. I only have one. I don't know why. Oh, no. Not a creeper. Oh, no. Not a creeper. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to, um, to my Minecraft Dinosaurs Let's Play. And I'm trying to lure this sheep into... This fence area here. Let's see if he follows me. Come on, buddy. Follow me. All right. We're doing good so far. Doing good. Come on in here. Come on in. There you go. Beautiful. Awesome. First time they listen to me, these sheep. Normally, they don't listen. All right. And we have an annoying slime right there. All right. There we go. One sheep. I need another one. I really need to uh, get these sheep breeding because we need them for our dinosaurs. Um, oh, gosh. There's a creeper right there. Of course there's a creeper. So off camera, I worked on the enclosure of the Brachiosaurus, so I can't wait to show you. Whoa, 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 don't blow up. Whoa, 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 don't blow up. Whoa! Don't blow up, don't blow up, buddy. No, 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 you don't want to blow up. One more, one more hit, and we are good to go. Yes. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this guy to follow me. Come on, buddy. Come on down. Follow me over here. Yay! This was easier than I thought. Yeah, so we need to get sheep in here so we can use our uh, embryos, such as the mammoth embryo, which we have already. So that's why I need to get these guys in here. Come on. Come on. They always do that. They stop right at the door. There we go. Cool. All righty. Awesome. Awesome. All righty. So I can't believe that worked out pretty well. All right. So let me uh, feed these guys. Come on, buddy. Over here. Here I am. Yo. Hello. Hello. They don't pay attention to me. All righty. There we go. Yay. All right. Little sheep, baby sheep. Where's the little baby? Where's the little baby? Oh, it's so cute. Hey there, little baby. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Check out our ferns. It's like ferns galore. It's too bad I couldn't get another. Maybe it'll work now. It was like weird before. It wasn't letting me. But look at that. Nice ferns. Now, what I would like to do is see if Gus is eating, is eating these ferns because um, I checked earlier and it didn't look like he was and I was worried about that because I mean I don't see why is it not leveled to his face I mean it's on the ground 207 no it's going down his level of food and I can't understand why he's got all those ferns there if somebody knows why or did the ferns like after all that work do they need to be one level higher up that would be such a shame now these are not grown on this side but those at the end there they're fully grown I think those ferns so I don't understand why his food level is going down and he doesn't seem to be eating them. I really am completely lost with that. I, I don't know why. Like, no idea. So I've been working on the Brachiosaurus enclosure. Is the sun going down? Yes, it is. So you can see from here. I don't need to get... Look at that, huh, guys? A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of iron. I am like... I do have some left. I had to go do a little mining, but very little. I didn't do much, but I got some more iron, and I think we're doing good so far. We're doing good. Um, nice and big enclosure. I like it. Actually, eventually, when I really have a lot uh, more resources and iron, I'll probably make that a lot bigger. Now, for the mammoth, which is the one I would like to, um, I would like to get a mammoth grown today, if possible, or born today. Uh, that cannot be on sand. I was reading the wiki. And they sink in sand and in jungle biomes. So something I didn't know. Luckily, I read that because I would have definitely just placed a little fenced-in area right here, and that would have been done. So just to get going, I do have fencing. Let's get a small fenced-in area. Hmm, where should I do this, actually? Because this is like all, this is all, um, except for the swamp area, this is all desert over here. Oh, gosh, isn't that annoying? I, I really, sorry, guys. 
That is one annoying sound. Let's just take care of that because I can't listen to him anymore. Listen to this anymore. All right, all the little guys, all the slime. I've got so many slimes. When I was building that enclosure uh, for the Brachiosaurus, making it larger, there were a lot of slimes. So I have a ton of slime balls now. As I was building it, they were just like spawning. And here we go, 18 slime balls. Pretty good. All right, so uh, mammoth, that's what I said. So first off, let's go ahead and impregnate one of these. No, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to do that because then it will be, no, I got to lure it. So that's why I don't want to, I don't want to lure it too far. I just want it to be nearby. Hmm. I guess it would be best, but we could place it over here for now. But I can't wait to see the woolly mammoth. That's probably one of my favorites. I just think the look of it, it's so cool. Yeah, let's have him over here. Let's try that. Might need a large enclosure later on because I think he gets quite large. But for now, we could do something here, right? Um, let's see. Got a shovel here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Doing a little landscaping just to make a little space. Did these guys come out of... I don't think so. No, they didn't come out of... How would they get out of there? My uh, chicken coop. Let's just take care of this. I'm sorry, buddy, but there you go. Little chicken little chicken because we are hungry it's good to have a little extra food there all right so let's just use the shovel it's gonna break any second but that's okay okay I think this is good huh what do you guys think all right this is good for now and we'll see later on you know I'll make it bigger or we'll see what we'll do later on um, with this we could go in that direction a little bit all right so let's go ahead and make a little fenced in area here for him I hope I could lure the sheep over here. I hope it's not a problem. Actually, go a little further here near the pond. And let's just work on this. And there we go. Right next to the water is good. I hope I have enough uh, fencing. Uh, what do we do here? Okay. Oh, this is definitely not big enough. You're all going to tell me this is too small. I know it's too small. I will make it bigger eventually, soon. But let me just, I want to get this at least going, the embryo going with the with a sheep. Um, let me get out of here. And I need to put actually, um, can it jump here? Let me just break this just in case so it doesn't. What I do there? What I, I messed this up, this corner. Let me fix this corner. I don't know why I did that. Okay, there we go. Cool. And last but not least, last piece. Let's just break this. Okay, cool. Looking good. Now what I have to make is a gate so I could get in and out easily. And then we'll lure our sheep over there. Hey, Gus, how you doing? Why aren't you eating the ferns, Gus? I don't understand because according to the wiki, it does eat ferns and triceratops. I believe it's the only one, the only dinosaur that eats ferns. Oh, I still have some iron cooking up. So wait a minute. Um, I need to make, right, I need to make, okay, we've got a stick there. How are we doing on wood? Here we go. We've got lots of wood. Cool. So let's go ahead and make um, a gate, right? So what is it? Um, is it like this, I think? Whoop. Am I doing this right? Um, I'm forgetting the gate. Or is it like this? I'm always forgetting. Am I doing this right? No. I'm forgetting the gate. <laughs> the gate recipe. Ah! Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, this is it. See, I want to try to remember it without looking it up. There we go. It's two. Two in a row. I forgot. Okay, there we go. Cool. Got it. Got the gate. Let's head back over here. Got so much work to do in this uh, nice, in our park. Like I said, elevated rail system. And definitely a big sign here, like at the entry. Let's see. Let's break this one right here. This is really small. I know you're all going to yell at me. That's too small. Alrighty. Now. To lure the sheep over. That's what we got to do now. Let's see if we could get them. I'm going to have to definitely do some landscaping here. Whoops. So let's see if I can breed them again before I actually... There we go. We've got our baby. Let's see if it, I can breed them. Does it let me? Yes, it does. Good. Cool. So we can get another little baby going. There we go. Now I have to lure one of them. Where is my... Where did I put my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Little baby sheep. Now, how am I going to lure just one? I didn't think of that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There is a sheep over there. Maybe that, for now, I should lure this one over. <laughs> Maybe that's a lot easier. There is one over here. There was a creeper over here. Luckily, he's gone. All right, so let's head over here. Actually, I should eat some chicken. Chicken's healthy. There we go. Low-fat chicken. All right, here we go. Let me lure this guy over. Come on, buddy. All right, follow me. Oh, yeah, this is a lot easier, I think. 
but eventually I got, oh, there's another one up there. There's some more sheep up there. Cool. Come on. All right, there we go. Follow me. And I put the gate on the other side, of course. Come on, buddy. All right, almost there. Almost there. Come on. Almost there. Here we go. Come on in. Right over here. Nope. Okay. Yes. I put the gate in the wrong place. Okay. Here we go. Now. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, gosh. Is he going to come on in? No. This is crazy. Okay. Come on. This could be like a whole 20-minute episode. Just me trying to... <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. There we go. Now this way. Come on. Come on. Why does he do that right there? I think it's the way I have this gate. What if I change this? Let's break this. And let's put this one. Okay, and now let's put the gate over here. Will that, like, make him go in this direction? Wait, sheep, don't go. Don't go. Here. Here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah, sheep. All right, there we go. Come on in. Come on in. Now, now we got it. Alrighty, this is uh, becoming a little difficult. Come on, buddy. Why is this happening to me? Of course, because I'm recording, guys. If I wasn't recording, trust me, they would. The sheep would go right into the pen. There we go. Now you're in. There we go. Don't don't leave. Ah, there we go. So impregnate the sheep. Here we go, guys. I cannot wait. Ready? Go. Alrighty. Awesome. So now, I think if we use the Dinopedia, we could see. Yes, three, four, there it is. Embryo in mammoth process. <laughs> wow, this is really small. I realize this is, I got to work on making this a lot bigger. So, um, plus, I don't think if they're tamed, which I'm going to stay near this uh, sheep until it's born. I think that if they're tamed, they're not dangerous, right? Can't they run just around wild as long as I have like Diego controlled and I have um and I have the other dinosaurs that could be dangerous and closed couldn't I just have the mammoth kind of walking around I mean he might leave the area but I think he could be around maybe I don't know I don't know what you guys think I know he could get away but hopefully I'll have like a lot of them because I believe they breed you can have them breed um by feeding them something just like sheep or Something like that, I believe. So so I could have a ton of them around. That would be really awesome if they kind of were walking around freely as long as they don't do anything, you know, as long as they don't break anything or whatever. So I think that could be a good idea. So let's just check them again. All right, well, let I'm going to stop the video, and I'll be back as soon as we're at like 97%. Be back in a minute. Hi, everyone. Okay, I'm back, and we are at 96%, and it turned nighttime and I'm so afraid a creeper is going to come over and blow up but I was also afraid to go and sleep in my bed because I was afraid oh there he is there he is there he is yay <laughs> come on sheep move over so I can see oh oh he's adorable <laughs> I love him okay I better hurry and go to bed because um go to sleep because I'm afraid the monster's going to come and blow up this whole area. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. I love the woolly mammoth. Oh, my gosh. One of the awesomest, awesomest. Oh, this is so dangerous. There's creepers around. Just this is bad news totally. So, okay, good. Off to sleep. Whew. I was so worried because I don't know what happens if it's in the middle of the process and I actually go to sleep. I'm not sure if it will automatically just become, you know, whoa, whoa. Where's my, oh, we got to get my sword ready. Let me take care of this guy. I just take care of this guy real quick. Sorry. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let, oh, 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 this is bad. This is bad. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. All right. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Okay. One more. Two more. Two more. Okay. One more hit. Thank you, buddy. All right. There we go. Get him out of the way. And, oh, my gosh, he's adorable. Look at him. He's so, come on, guys. I know you're saying, oh, why is she so cute? Oh, I think he's adorable. I love it. What am I going to name him? I have no idea. No idea at all. Now, I have another embryo, so we can get actually two of them in there at the same time, I, even though there's very little space. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to. There we go. There we go. So we've got now another one in this sheep. Cool. So we'll have that work out. So we'll leave that for the next episode. We'll leave it at this. Um, 
This was a little shorter. I'm sorry, but I'm so excited about the mammoth. I think his name should be Marty. Marty the mammoth. What do you guys think? And then the next one will be a female, I'm guessing, right? And her name will be uh, Melanie. Marty and Melanie. What do you guys think? Huh? Huh? Original, huh? <laughs> Such original ideas. Actually, it's so cute. Look at it. It's adorable. Oh, oh, I love it. I love the little sound it makes. I can't say it. Am I doing it right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, these things make me laugh, so I apologize. So, yeah, so we'll leave this for the next episode, and we'll check out the status of Marty and Melanie, and hopefully we could breed some breed some mems. But I know this enclosure is too small. You're all going to yell at me, but don't worry. Um, off camera, as soon as um, – off camera, I'll be working on something bigger, so we'll have it ready for the next episode. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you know why the Triceratops is not eating the ferns. Um, I'm not understanding at all why that's going on. It's it's very strange. According to the wiki, it says it eats ferns, and it doesn't look like it's eating at all. Look, it's 185. I'm going to have to feed him. I'm going to have to because I don't – look, I'm going to feed him a little, and now we're going to check. Good. We're up to 225 again because I'm telling you, I'll forget, and he'll die because I'm very good at killing dinosaurs, as you could see from the last few episodes. So, ah, no, don't blow up, don't blow up. Oh, I didn't see him. Oh, my gosh. Luckily, I just don't want him to blow up by the enclosure. Whew. I'm just not lucky with creepers lately. It's just been there all over. They're driving me crazy. Like, they just don't leave me alone. Oh, I know why. You're all going to tell me. Because I didn't light up the whole path here. I have to light up this whole area. And that's something that I haven't done. So I know, I know. My fault completely. I definitely have to light this whole area up. And let's see how many days old. He's got to be eight days old, I believe six days or maybe if he's tamed it's less well anyway he has to be tamed to ride it doesn't matter i'm guessing he can't be if he wasn't tamed he would be flying away but i have him on stay right now like i set him up you know like i've ordered him to stay that's correct so guys <laughs> let me know if you know about the ferns and the triceratops and basically what i'm doing wrong here it's weird but thank you so much for watching. We're going to go see um, Marty and Melanie eventually will be born. <laughs> and, oh, my gosh, they're adorable. I love it. And I got to work on this enclosure. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Oh, I love it. The mammoths. For me, the mammoths are the best of all. Sorry. My favorite dinosaur. I like the Brachiosaurus, too, but they're not as fun looking. And we're going to be able to get wool, actually, from these guys. So I think it's neat. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you. If you remember, if you happen to enjoy the episode please remember to leave a like because it really does help me out and uh well i'll see you in the next episode take care everyone bye bye